In the kitchen cooking, whipping, sauce dipping, marinating chicken, chef Lon Dom, food the bomb, notorious chef. I ain't talking about Raekwon, C H E F D A double D Y, saute and deep fry. Mmm, the taste is mean. Hip hop. It's your boy, Chef Daddy OG, Harlem's Lanes Radio.com. I am the press. About to roll up in this movie premiere right here. Threading the needles. Let's see what it's about, baby. Boy, Chef Daddy OG for Harlem Lanes Radio.com. And we're in Harlem right now at the Poets Den, right? For the movie premiere, Threading Needles. My boy 3Ds. Take it away, baby. Yes, we here for the premiere of Threaded Needles. But I got another distinguished guest in the building right now. My girl, Len Spivey, who is an entrepreneur of the Black Board Games. And that Black Board Game name is I Got Power. That's I Got it. Power. That's what it is. Right here, HarlemLanesRadio.com. But Len Spivey is also doing bigger things in the community because she is the president of the NAACP of the NYCHA Housing Branch. Len, how do you get to that much power? That's a powerful position. No doubt. President. Chef Daddy OG, Harlem's Lanes Radio.com, and we had the movie premiere, Thread Needles in Harlem, you dig? And I'm chilling right here with my man Triple D, and one of the dirtiest cops I've ever seen play, you know what I'm saying? You make Denzel Washington and Training Day look like a good cop, baby. Yes, indeed, man. We're here with my man Willie, right? It's Will. Yeah, it's Will, and he played in this premiere and traded, what is it, Thread and Needles, Thread right? Needles, Thread and Needles, yeah. And um, this brother rocked the scene on on top of everything because guess what? Who we always like in movies? Dirty cop. <laughs> how did you feel to be the, the dirty cop, the villain in the movie, man? It's always good to be a bad guy in some film. <laughs> it was an interesting role. Uh, I auditioned for the role, and when I read the script, I said, wow, this guy is a powerful cop. He was torn because he had in a conflict with his own race, and he had a white partner, so he even fueled his anger towards his own race. Um, and I just wanted to do a good, I just wanted to do a good job because the director he was trying to bring this anger, uh, this inner hatred within our own people. Okay, um, that's what he do. So I think I did a good job. No, you, you did a good job, bro. Yeah, I bounced for you. You did, for you. you did it. Like I said, thank you. Man. You had me. You had. I, I was making sure I had none in my pocket. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So, like I said, we here at the grand premiere, man, the premiere of Thread Needles. Thread Needles. Thread Needles. Man, I'm getting it wrong, but you know, that's a little tongue twister, Thread Needles. But this is Will. He's one of the main actors in the show. you got to come out and support these independent artists because these movies are box, box, 
rosters, they're better than what you see on the national screen. These, these little guys, they're doing what it is. And Will, like you said, Chef, Denzel Washington, the Washington boy, he the man. Justin Will, did you, did you get any other projects besides this? I have. I've been in this industry for 17 years. Yeah. Okay. I've um, done a lot of work on the place. This is like my fourth film project. I usually get typecast when I'm playing a cop. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> That's a lot of business for cops Actually, in the film. Actually, no, before this one, I, I played a uh, homosexual. Oh, okay. So, oh. And that's where I actually did the director song. Okay. And uh, he liked my performance there. Okay. So, and then we found out what the homosexual was, he was he didn't like me more because... You really played the part out. played the part. So that's what he said. So I'm blessed, you know, on this project. I'm blessed to have other projects in the future. You know, so look out for me, William Francis. You can find me on Facebook. There you go. Slow it down. Tell me where you can William find me, baby. You can find me on Facebook at William Francis. And, um, Francis is F-R-A-N-C-I-S-Q-U-E. Uh, thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Lanes, all the lanes radio, baby. That's what it do. That's what it do. All right. Baby. It's Chef Daddy OG. And we had the movie premiere. Grant and Needles with the lovely Sandra. She played Popo in the movie, baby. Yes, indeed. You here with the three Ds? You know what it is. Deep dark delicious one. Can do all the plans. Radio. Dot com. And we here with Sandra. Sandra, beautiful Sandra. I would love for her to pull me over. But anyway, in the movie, Ready to Sandra, you play a police officer. How did that feel? What was the feeling? Uh, I was like, yes. You told you in the real So were you a detective? Were you running the command or something? What was your part basically about? No, I was just in the research. And I was in the command. I guess he talked, so I didn't know what was going on. I was asking the question. I was like, can we have to speak? OK. Chef Daddy OG for Harlem Blades Radio.com. And you know how we do. We at the premiere of Thread Needle. And we here with my man Big Al, the other dirty cop. Baby, look at him. He still look like a cop. He's still in roll. <laughs> Let's get it, baby. Just yes, this is the Triple away. D's Deep Dark Delicious One. Can't do all the lanes. Radio.com. I got Big Al in the building, man. Burgo. Burgo. That's and what it's doing. And it's, it's Thread and Needles. He doing a premiere. He was a dirty cop in the movie. You got to see this movie. This independent film. Got it going on. But check it out. Al, how did you feel playing that role? I felt like one dirty bastard. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> it was good. It was real, man. I, I, you know, these guys have me going to certain parts of my belly, coming out with this anger and, and uh, these weird feelings that I never really uh, uh, exhibited, you know, in on screen. I mean, I've done some crime scenes here and there, but I usually play tough guy roles. I take guys out and don't think they're nothing. Oh, okay. <laughs> So, obviously, besides Thread and Needles, you've been other movies and films. Yes, sir. Uh, right? let, the, let the world know. I think quite a few other movies, you know. Check me out on uh, on uh, YouTube. Just put Al Bargo. A L 
be your eyes, you know. And you see a bunch of stuff. One of my movies uh, that I recently did is The Vast Gamble with Stephen Bauer and uh, Catherine Narducci and Sally Kirkland. These are all old-time people from uh, that won awards. Like, they've been in the business for a long time. They have me present myself with them. Joe Gunnabaz is the, the writer and director. And I've been to four other movies with him, so he keeps calling me back and doing more work. And one of the movies I just recently wrote about is Shoe Shine Chicken. Shoe Shine Chicken. Yeah, everybody loves the name. Thank you. Wow. Oh, yeah. Shine Chicken is about me growing up in Coney Island in 1963 with a guy named Chicken. He used to shine shoes on the ball. Oh, okay. That's what I do. Yeah, Chicken was one of the toughest guys in Coney Island at the time. And if you go to YouTube, you'll see a one-minute trailer. And the movie is almost finished because it's only shot while it's complete yet. Shoe Shine Chicken. Shoe Shine Chicken. Big Al, Dirty Cop, and, and Threading Needles. He's that dude. But I want y'all to understand, you got to come out and support brothers like Al here that's doing it big. Been in a lot of feature films. Check him out. Check out his YouTube. See what's going on. And definitely check him out in Threading Needles because this is the premiere right here. You got to love him. Big Al. And I guarantee you, you come to see my stuff, especially when you make comments. I know who you are. I'll come and see your stuff, whatever you're doing. Yeah, yeah, I'm a cop in the neighbor. I'm coming out straight and hit you inside the door. Yo, it's your boy Chef Daddy OG. It's Hollowlands Radio And nobody do it better. Baby. If you want to see me on something really funny, I did. Look on the legalized mafia on YouTube. It's in three parts. I go up to the trap agents because me and my partner Angela got pissed off one day. They wrote us too many tickets. We decided to fight back and shake them up and give them a real run for that money. <laughs> Legalized mafia. It's a treat. Legalized mafia. Do y'all hear this? Yeah, because they are legalized and they are mafia. <laughs> <laughs> the traffic agents are out of control and we decontrol them. Woo! That's what it do. All the lanes radio, the three D's and big L. I want to thank That's you. What it is. I want to thank you guys for having me down here. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, it was a pleasure. And I wish you a lot of luck. Right. If you want me to come up there live direct on the air, we'll have five million people. That's right. <laughs> there you go, Al. I'll be there for you. HollandLanesRadio.com and nobody does it better. Chef Daddy OG, HollandLanesRadio.com. And again, we at that permit. Threat and needle. Baby. Yes, indeed. You here with your boy in 3Ds. And we got two of the cast members that killed the scene. This is the father. This is the mother. You got to see Threat and Needles. Premiere is extraordinary. But dad, dad, you the funny dude. And you got to let the world know. How did, how did you prepare to play for this part in Threat and Needles? Tell the world how you prepared for that part. She yeah, rolled with it for her baby, alright? You ain't gonna forget her, though. You got the mama playing. But check out this combination. <laughs> Deep, dark, and delicious over here in chocolate. And we got the pretty calm lady right here. Now, as you're playing his, 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 his spouse, you know, the wife, and here's your son bringing his wife chick home. Beautiful as you are, what was your real feeling in the movie? Well, in the movie, I was surprised. And I was surprised because he, he told me that he was going to be in the movie. And I was And check this out, politically correct. She was caught case. Right. So that came as a surprise, and, and I'm glad that the people saw that. I didn't, I didn't expect that. However, I quickly accepted the fact that she was nice. Even though she's Caucasian, I wanted to accept her because um, that's my son, and I love him. And I was going to work with my African queen. <laughs> right, there you go. There you go. That's what it is. But as African king Zulu warrior over here, you know, I know he put the lick down. He was like, listen, we don't go, we don't taboo like that. No, we don't do it. He said, no, right to this day, never. <laughs> this, this, ladies and gentlemen, you got to check out this movie, Thread and Needles. This is the father. This is the mother, man. They did their thing in this movie. They really projected some real feelings that a lot of you going to feel. So don't, do not think this
this ain't gonna happen to you. But I wanna know, what else do you do besides threatening leaders? You, you do acting on a regular basis? Yeah. Okay. Well, tell the people what you do. Tell them, you know, tell the world. I'm an actor from Ghana. Okay. A very well-known actor, 2006 plus actor TV series. Okay. And um, what else do you wanna know? <laughs> We want to get in touch and then find out what else you're doing. You got a Facebook, you got a I have different a Facebook. Okay, you got Facebook. Yeah. Facebook, my Facebook name is Jojo Mills Robertson. Hold on, hold on. Say that slow. <laughs> Jojo Mills Robertson. Jojo, J O M I N L S R O B R T N. All right. That's what it do. Jojo Mills Robertson. Yeah. Young lady, I know you act as well. So, how can we reach out and see other works that you might have done? Whatever you're doing. Like I said, world premiere right here, Thread and Needle. We got the father and the mother. This is gonna really shock the world because it's real. Chef Daddy, will take it away. Baby. All right, we're gonna thread the needles. Y'all gonna thread the needles now? <laughs> baby, <laughs> Chef Daddy OG, holla, Chef Daddy OG, chop it up on the cook up. Super Chef, what you want? He the one to look up. Better have the hook up, cause he all booked up. Radio shows, videos, and the cookbook Chef to the stars for the hood, that's a good look Forget the chopping box, chef chops up the block From the kitchen to the studio, club to the radio Written no, now you know, chef to the daddy-o Yonkers on Emerald, with his own talk show Every Sunday night on the block, talk radio 9pm, tune in on the regular Chef is the boss, grilling up the competitors Better watch your back, he a culinary veteran A store near you Cop the book on the lookout Find out what the chef daddy be about He most deaf is the one the hood talk about Plenty street clout ain't for running his mouth What's good baby is the slogan he shout When the chef hit the grill bring him out bring him out I always get a plate cause he know what I'm about Youngest first lady on the ones in the mouth